Technical progress has not bypassed the hang gliding industry, delighting the fans of this sport with more and more innovative models. The Archaeopteryx is a hybrid muscle and battery-powered aircraft with a 5-minute switchable power mode. The Archaeopteryx is currently the lightest hang glider, weighing 61 kilograms. It is capable of climbing at a speed of 2.5 meters per second and has a flying speed of up to 130 kilometers per hour. The aircraft offers various launch options, including takeoff from a flat surface, launching from a cliff during freefall, and being towed by air or ground transportation. The Edgley Optica is a British short takeoff and landing light aircraft designed for aerial reconnaissance and surveillance. With a maximum speed of 210 km per hour, a range of 1,050 km, and a maximum altitude of 4,200 meters, the Optica may not be considered an advanced reconnaissance aircraft. These numbers are inferior to those of drones, such as the Predator or Reaper. However, their purposes are completely different. The Optica was developed as a cost-effective alternative to helicopters, providing an unprecedented view for passengers in its three-seat configuration. Only 25 units were manufactured, and several of them were used by police and firefighting services in some European countries. Mitsubishi Fuso has unveiled its concept drone of the future, which is equipped with onboard artificial intelligence. Thanks to this, it will be possible to ensure the search for people or important objects in hard-to-reach places. Equipped with big rotors for vertical lift and electric ducted fans for horizontal flight, the drone can carry as much as 10 liters of supplies and cargo to victims. The onboard artificial intelligence assistant can interact with victims through an anthropomorphic face display, providing a sense of comfort to them in moments of distress and letting them know that helps on the way. The design of this new development is quite impressive. The aerospace company Airbus has presented to the world its new city Airbus rugged electric plane. Company representatives hope that by 2025 their futuristic aircab model will appear in the skies of many cities around the world. The aircab is designed for four passengers. The city Airbus has a range of about 15 kilometers and a cruising speed of 120 kilometers per hour. The fully electric vehicle is powered by four 800-volt batteries. The aircraft is equipped with four twin-rotor propellers. Each of the eight propellers has an electric motor of 200 kilowatts. In the first phase after commissioning, the air cab will operate with a pilot on board to facilitate public acceptance. In the future, it is expected to fly on a fixed route without a pilot. The Aurora Pegasus passenger air vehicle is an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft with eight propellers for vertical flight, a tail-mounted pusher prop for forward flight, and a three-surface wing configuration for cruising. The aircraft is 9.14 meters long, 8.53 meters wide, and has a maximum range of 80 kilometers. It also has a payload of 225 kilograms and a maximum speed of 180 kilometers per hour. This is a two-seat passenger aircraft that can be piloted or flown autonomously. The Volocopter VC-200 is the first commercially viable passenger multicopter that has successfully conducted manned flights and holds potential for mass production. While individual enthusiasts had previously tested piloted homemade multicopters, they often failed to achieve significant altitude or sustained flight. The maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft is 450 kilograms, the maximum height is 2 kilometers. During previous tests in drone mode, the battery charge was enough for only 20 to 30 minutes, but the developers plan to increase the flight time. According to the creators, the control of the flying vehicle is not fundamentally different from the control of toy drones. Company representatives expect to produce and then sell the VC-200 at a price of $340,000. The Lockheed Martin P-791 is an experimental aerostatic and aerodynamic hybrid airship that was developed by Lockheed Martin. The P-791 made its first flight on January 31, 2006 at the company's flight test facility. The airship offers lower costs for transporting cargo to remote areas that cannot be matched by other existing ground and air transportation alternatives. The vehicle is about 37.5 meters long, about 16 meters wide, and about 9 meters high. At the Paris Air Show, Lockheed Martin announced that all necessary certification steps have been completed, and the company is starting to take orders for this kind of hybrid airship. Aviation Capital predicts a market capacity of about 300 airships. The world's largest airplane, called Stratolaunch, has successfully taken to the skies several times in test flights. It is the second largest aircraft in the world, and the first in terms of wingspan. 
The plane was created to launch spacecraft, although rockets have long been successfully used in this business. Nevertheless, the United States continues to develop this project. The wingspan of the plane created by Strata Launch Systems model is approximately 117 meters, with a length of 53 meters and a height of about 15 meters. Its maximum takeoff weight is about 590 tons, and the empty weight of the aircraft is 226 tons. This makes the Strata Launch the second largest plane in the world, after the Ukrainian N-225 Maria, which unfortunately was destroyed in 2022. Auto Aviation has revealed the technical characteristics for its revolutionary Solera 500L bullet aircraft. The Solera 500L was designed as a cost-effective alternative to private business jets. The main task of the creators was to reduce fuel consumption and increase the efficiency of the aircraft without reducing the speed performance and flight range, and they have completely succeeded. With a maximum cruising speed of 740 km per hour and a range of 8,334 km, the Solera 500L can transport up to six passengers to any point in the United States without refueling. On one liter of fuel, the Solera 500L can cover 7 to 10 kilometers. The operational costs are estimated to be no more than $328 per hour. In addition to its use as a six-passenger business jet with a comfortable cabin, there are considerations for utilizing the Solera 500L as an air taxi, a small cargo aircraft, and even an unmanned aerial vehicle. Military applications are also being explored. The Dutch company PAL-V has developed a flying car PAL-V Liberty. The flying car is a hybrid of a three-wheeled car and a helicopter. The transformation of a car into a flying vehicle takes 5 to 10 minutes. In car mode, the PAL-V Liberty uses three wheels and tilts on turns. The pusher propeller is hidden inside the body, and the helicopter blades are folded. In helicopter mode, takeoff requires a distance of only 180 meters, a distance of 330 meters to fly over an obstacle 15 meters high, and 30 meters to land. The maximum climbing height is 3,500 meters, with a maximum speed of approximately 180 kilometers per hour. The maximum flight range is 400 to 500 kilometers, with an average fuel consumption of 26 liters per hour. The PAL-V Liberty flying car is designed for two people. The maximum takeoff weight is 910 kilograms, and the empty weight is 664 kilograms. The price of the PAL-V Liberty depends on the version of the flying car, but averages around 400,000 euros. The Proteus is an experimental high-altitude aircraft developed by the American company Rudin Aircraft, which later became Scaled Composites Incorporated. Initially, the aircraft was created as a mobile communications center, but later developed into a full-fledged multi-purpose platform, with the help of which it is also possible to deliver passengers to suborbital ships. The aircraft managed to set a number of records, in particular, the flight altitude record of 19,015 meters. Thus, the flying machine became famous not only for its possibilities, but also for its extravagant appearance which allows to include Proteus and a number of the most unusual planes in history. The experimental Proteus was built as a single prototype. The empty weight of the plane is 2660 kilograms, and maximum takeoff weight is 5670 kilograms. The maximum flight speed is 504 kilometers per hour. Write in the comments which of these unusual aircraft surprised you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.